Okay, Florida, I see you. The Florida Gators have been, uh, let's just say they've been struggling so far in the class of 2025 recruiting. I mean, they are currently ranked as the 57th best recruiting class in the class of 2025. Now, I know that we're still towards the middle of the recruiting cycle, but my God. 57th? While the Gators reside in one of the most talent-dense states in all of America, they have one of the hardest times actually keeping their players not only in-state, but at their university. But the Gators just got a commit from a player that should be bolstering their 2025 recruiting class. Let me introduce you to five-star wide receiver coming out of Jones High School in Orlando, Florida, Vernell Brown III. He is a 5'11", 170-pound wide receiver who is currently ranked as the fifth best player in Florida and the sixth best wide receiver in the class of 2025. Last season, Vernell caught 70 passes for 1,363 yards and 10 touchdowns. Now there is a little bit of family ties to Florida. Vernell's dad, Vernell Brown Sr., actually played DB for the Gators back in the early 2000s, and he's also currently Anthony Richardson's manager. All right, so let's see what type of talent that the Gators just got on offense. This is a player that needs to help move their Gators 2025 class higher up the ranks. I would love to see the Florida Gators be somewhere in the top 20 to top 15 classes in the class of 2025, but they got a lot of catching up to do. Comment your thoughts down below on this pickup. Be sure to let me know what you guys think of the Florida Gators upcoming season. And with that being said, sit back, relax, and let's see what this five-star wide receiver is going to be bringing to Gator Nation. Three, two, one. All right, let's see what my guy's looking like out here. 5'11", 170, that's the perfect slot receiver size, and uh, gone. Show off the explosiveness. Whoop. And, uh, oh, now nah, this kid's got some great quickness out here. Oh, nah, this kid's going crazy. He's going crazy. Okay, Verno Brown, he's definitely got that, that just suddenness, that quick twitch to him. Thank you. Taking the top off the defense like it's nothing. Yeah, I mean, don't get me, like, the Gators, they've always done best when they've had those explosive, fast wide receivers. Thank you. Way to win off the line. That's just a phenomenal job of just creating separation. Catching it off the one hand. Oh, way to, way to change direction. And then, yeah, he's got, he's got elite speed. He has got some elite speed. You can see him just gliding over the field and he's like, this kid is easily running something in the four fours. I would say probably mid to high four fours, but for a high schooler, that's that's impressive. Wait, it's way to reach out for that. Yeah, so far the Gators, they got them one. This is a five-star wide receiver for sure. Go up and get you some. I definitely see him being more of an exclusive slot to gadget guy. I don't know if it just based off of his size, if he's gonna be able to play on the outside enough to go up against like bigger, more physical corners. But if they're able to use him, kind of like how USC uses Zachariah Branch, where they're constantly keeping him in motion. They're constantly making sure that they're getting the ball to him in open space and just letting his speed talk. That's where I see a Vernell Brown the third really shining for the Gators. But you need to be able to plan and game or game plan around a player like this and not necessarily try and have him just fit your system. Way to cut back. Look, I mean, look at this vision right here. He says, yeah, I need to cut back right now. That cutback lane was nasty for him to even see. Okay, got him on an island. You, you can't be doing that. You got to throw at least some safety up over the top. Way to stack over him. Let's go. Yeah, the Gators, they got them one. This kid, he is going to be, he's going to be a player that you need to center around. Like, the Gators do not have enough talent coming in year in and year out anymore to be able to be missing on players like this. They need to not only keep him through signing day, but then develop him and build the whole offense around him. The same way that y'all built Anthony Richardson's offense around him, you need to do the same thing for a Vernell Brown.
All right, so the Florida Gators just got themselves a little speed demon at wide receiver in Vernell Brown the third. I definitely think that this kid has a ton of upside. I mean, I'm just thinking of like, if he's able to really get and refine that footwork while also having that speed, I'm telling you, he's going to absolutely light up the short yardage game, but then also have the ability to hit a double move and then take the top off a of defense and really be able to hit those home run plays. This is a guy that seriously can make or break a game depending on how you are using him, how early you are getting him involved in the plays. Vernell Brown, if he ends up signing, like making it all the way through to signing day and then signing with the Gators, this will be a massive win for the Gators and you need to build around this kid because he is something special. Like straight up, this is a special, special wide receiver right here. But I want to hear from all my Gator fans. Leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and then comment down below what you guys think of Vernell Brown the third. Also, if nobody has told you this today, I hope you have an amazing day and you are absolutely so special. Don't ever go through this world not thinking that you're bringing something positive to this world. You seriously have a massive impact on more people than you will ever realize. And if you're ever just having a hard time believing that, or if you're, ever just, if you're just going through anything right now, know that you can always call upon Jesus Christ. He is there for all of us. All he wants to do is just protect us from this crazy world, have a relationship with us, and just be able to just go day by day and just have just have relationships with us like honestly just being able to talk with us it's a beautiful father and either son or, or son or daughter relationship that we get to have through jesus christ always remember that i love and appreciate all y'all and i will catch you guys in the next video ciao